Imagine waking up to the ground, shaking violently beneath you, buildings crumbling, and the Mississippi River flowing backward. These might sound like scenes from a movie, but they were real events during the 1811-12 New Madrid earthquakes. How did these quakes reshape America's landscape and history? Let's examine the story of one of America's most powerful and forgotten natural disasters, the start of the shakes. In the early hours of December 16, 1811, residents of the central United States were jolted awake. The ground rumbled, houses shook, and people feared the world was ending. This was the first of a series of powerful earthquakes centered near New Madrid, a small town in present-day Missouri. Little did they know, this was just the beginning of a terrifying sequence of quakes that would last for months, the series of quakes. Over the next few months, the New Madrid seismic zone experienced hundreds of aftershocks and three more massive earthquakes, January 23, 1812. Another major quake struck, causing further destruction and panic. February 7, 1812. The most powerful of the series, this quake was so intense that it rang church bells as far away as Boston. The sheer power of these earthquakes was astounding. They are estimated to have been between 7.0 and 8.0 in magnitude, making them some of the strongest earthquakes ever recorded in the continental United States. The Mississippi River runs backward. One of the most astonishing effects of the New Madrid earthquakes was the Mississippi River flowing backward. The February 7th quake caused massive land upheavals that temporarily reversed the river's flow. Entire sections of the riverbank collapsed, and new lakes were formed. This bizarre phenomenon was a stark reminder of the earthquake's immense power, a devastating impact. The New Madrid earthquakes caused widespread devastation across the central United States. Buildings were destroyed, and the ground was left scarred with fissures and sinkholes. Entire forests were flattened, and farmland was rendered useless. The quakes disrupted trade and travel, and many people were left homeless and in dire need of assistance. The human toll. The exact number of casualties is unknown, but reports suggest that hundreds of people lost their lives. The earthquakes also had a significant psychological impact. Many survivors described the experience as apocalyptic, and some even believed it was a sign of divine wrath. The fear and uncertainty caused by the quakes lingered long after the ground stopped shaking understanding the New Madrid Seismic Zone. The New Madrid Seismic Zone is a major fault line that runs through the central United States. It remains one of the most seismically active regions in the country. Scientists believe that the 1811-12 earthquakes were caused by a reactivation of ancient faults deep beneath the Earth's surface. These faults are still active today, posing a significant risk to millions of people living in the region a forgotten disaster. Despite their magnitude, the New Madrid earthquakes have largely been forgotten by history. This is partly because the affected area was sparsely populated at the time. Unlike more recent disasters in densely populated cities, the New Madrid earthquakes didn't leave behind a large urban area with extensive documentation. Additionally, the frontier nature of the region meant that many records were lost or never created in the first place. Modern-day preparations. Today, scientists and emergency planners are working to better understand and prepare for future earthquakes in the New Madrid seismic zone. Advanced monitoring systems have been installed to detect seismic activity, and public awareness campaigns aim to educate residents about earthquake preparedness. However, much remains to be done to mitigate the potential impact of another major earthquake in the region. The 1811-12 New Madrid earthquakes were among the most powerful earthquakes in American history, yet they remain largely forgotten. From causing the Mississippi River to flow backward to reshaping the landscape, their impact was profound. As we look to the future, it's crucial to remember these events and take steps to prepare for the potential of another major earthquake in the New Madrid seismic zone. Well, have you ever experienced an earthquake? How do you think we can better prepare for future seismic events? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe 
for more incredible tales from history. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video.